You know what it's like when you wake up in the morning, you've had a really good night's sleep, and you're in a foul mood. You've woken up like that. No reason why. Just woke up like that. Well, poor Keith. He got the blunt end of that this morning. I was in a foul mood. Couldn't decide what we were doing. It's Friday. Couldn't decide. Should we stay at home? Should we go away and amble? Should we go to the caravan? Well, the Land Rover's not working properly, so... If we went to the caravan, we'd have to go in the van anyway. Because we can't get all the dogs in the little car. Really couldn't think whether we wanted to go... Or I wanted to go away in the van. Keith just said, we'll do whatever. Doesn't help sometimes. But bless him. He puts up with a lot. Anyway, I've given me head a wobble. I've started to pack the van. I thought I'd better make it up to him a bit. So how can I make it up to him? Well, I went to the supermarket. I bought a cheesecake. And I bought some clotted cream. So I'll make it up a little bit. And I'll just have to be extra nice for the next couple of days. So yeah, now the plan is, well, going up up to the Peak District again. It's not too far to go after he finishes work. Not sure where we'll park up, but we'll see how it goes. Forecast for the weather's not that good. It's going to be quite wet and it's apparently going to thunder as well. But that's all right. We're in the van, aren't we? Keith can't walk far anyway, so it'll just be uh, short walks for me and the dogs, and we'll just have a relaxing time, eating cheesecake and clotted cream. I hope it makes up for it. Better see how we get on, don't we? So, me and the dogs have been and picked Keith up from work. Following on from earlier, I'm in a better mood. You can't be much worse than you were this morning. I told you I was in a mood, didn't I? I was just a bit grumpy. A bit. More than a bit. Well, I didn't know what we were doing. Well, I didn't, so I, but I wasn't in a grumpy mood. Well, you never make a decision. Over, you always overrule me, that's <laughs> why. Not. Where do you want to go tonight? <laughs> this is this is what this is where? See? Wherever I'm told. Just drive then. I am. There's only one thing. We're not doing a Thelma and Louise. See where we end up then. Fuel first. I think only Sainsbury's first. All the fuel that are available. Yeah, but we don't get nectar poison. <laughs> and I've had a bit of chocolate, so I won't be hungry. No sake coming back. No. Got some nice things for tea. Fish and chips. Do you want fish and chips? Some of the chippy we love. Where is the chippy now? McDonald's? <laughs> We're near a McDonald's. If you want McDonald's, we can have McDonald's. No, I'm fine. We'll not have McDonald's. You know, I said about that weather forecast. Well, it's raining. All rain? Change of plan. You didn't take much persuading there, Mr. Ashworth. I was told. It's wet. 
So we're, having, we're doing it in English, not Polish or Welsh. I'll have a... A meal, so... Double barbecue quarter pounder with cheese. A limited time one. That one. That one. That one. Make it a meal? Yeah. Large. Large. What do you mean? Would you not have gone large? You like it large? Large fries. What, do, what drink do you want? Coffee, please. Large black. Yeah? Yeah. This is strobing on the camera. Is it? Well, it would have been a while before we got there, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Bit naughty, really, because I've put stuff in the fridge, as you saw. Don't drop anything. The trouble with McDonald's is they don't last for long, and there was nothing for you. Just a whiff of what we've eaten.
so we're back where we were parked last weekend only because it's so nice it's easy for letting the dogs out for a walk and stunning views first thing we need to do is get the kettle on so you know how grumpy this morning yes i thought well I'll get you something as a treat. <laughs> what? This. Ooh, thank you. Well, you know I don't like clotted cream. You don't like it, no, at all. Mm-mm. Thank you. Oh, well, you're welcome. See, me being grumpy does have some perks. <laughs> Lights are drawing in. They are. Got the lights on. Nine o'clock. What colour do we want, though? Disco! Good morning. Good morning. Well, I think the four pack are ready for a walk. <laughs> so we're out of the van. Quick walk with them this morning, just for now. Can have a longer walk later. Peaceful night. So, what have I got planned today? Well, cheaty breakfast, I think. Packet stuff. And I think we're going to go and have a look at a grave. Living the life. Not just any grave though, it's a special grave. More of that later. Well, so far the rain's held off. But looking at the forecast, that's supposed to be from lunchtime onwards, so we'll see. Good night's sleep, quiet road. But after breakfast, before we go to the grave, we're gonna uh, check out some toilets for a wash and everything that we noticed last weekend. So we're going to see what they're like. And you can see in the distance, just about there, that's Amble. So nice little morning walk here for the dogs. Or paddle, in base case. And they're off back to the van. Not waiting for me this morning, they want a breakfast. Choice of breakfast. That or that? Which you fancy? Uh, I think the dogs will have the biscuits. You sure? <laughs> Hardly. Could put some butter on them for you. Simple cheaty sausage and beans with some tomato bread that I made yesterday. Gently, gently.
So I said earlier that we were going to visit a grave. Nottinghamshire is where most of the legends surrounding Robin Hood are based. But they spread further than that into Yorkshire and Derbyshire. And we're going to visit what is allegedly one of the Merry Men's graves this morning. It's a bit of a steep climb for a man with a disability though, isn't it? <laughs> So who are we looking for? Little John's grave. Reputedly. There it is. Little John, the friend and lieutenant of Robin Hood. He died in a cottage now destroyed to the east of the churchyard. The grave is marked by this old headstone and footstone and is underneath this old yew tree. Reputedly, anyway. So how Little John ended up in Hathersage in Derbyshire? I don't know. It's not a million miles away, is it? Mm. Sure, forest used to be stretch a bit big, further than it used to do. It does now, rather. Mm -hmm. I shall see if Google helps. So I'm just reading and it says that although it can't be guaranteed that it's Little John's grave, it certainly does say that it would say it's a very tall man. And obviously Little John got his name from being so tall. And reputedly, his longbow used to hang up in the church here. But what happened to that, no one knows. Unfortunately, it's not open today, so we can't go in. Just a quick visit there to that little John's grave then. Must be time for a coffee somewhere now though. Must be. I'm just walking back down. We spotted the old pinfold. Which if you don't know what a pinfold is, it's where the stray cattle and sheep were rounded up by someone called the Pinder and kept in the pinfold. Well we didn't know we thought they were just called shepherds, but they're called pinders. And the owner collected them when they strayed, but they had to pay a fine for it. We can't get in, the gate's locked. Coffee's done, shall we go and find a geocache? Yes, onwards. So we're looking for the cache now. I think I'll be doing this one because it's up a tree. It's not high up the tree, is it? No, it's only four to five feet, isn't it? Forty-five. Four to five. <laughs> that one, do you reckon? Well, it's pointing that way. 
Is this where I get 250 quid from? <laughs> You've been for... left trunk four to five feet up so is it that one sorry you don't think it's the right tree Same 50 feet now. Got it? Yeah. Hey, when you get the right tree. These are the trees I would have thought when we walked past, but the coordinates went out. Yeah, well, they've brought us back here eventually, haven't they? If um, who know who are watching us, you found this cache before. <laughs> Guess where the pen is? You've not left it in the van, have you? <laughs> Have you? Yeah. I think Nick said to him, I nearly said, I nearly said to him, can you see me, mother? I nearly said to him, have you got the pen? And I thought, no, he'll have the pen. I'll go back for it. Where is it? Hey, where a wonky pair. That's the log being signed. I thought I'd come back over here, save you wobbly leg. I'm not an invalid. It's an unusual style, though, isn't it? It is. It's lots of steps down, isn't it? Yeah. Busy road. Give you the pen, I'll go and put it back. <laughs> stay there. in the van and where are we going now? For an ice cream, I thought you said. You said? Where are you taking me? I expected it to be just off the road, not up some track off-roading. Should have had the landing. You're expecting an ice cream, are you, Bayleaf? Bayleaf? Are you ignoring me now, Bayleaf? Blinky heck! You don't want to walk up here, would you? No. If you were desperate for an ice cream. No, or cycling along the main routes and then thought, oh, we'll, we'll stop off up here for an ice cream. There's a big sign at the road, isn't there? Yeah, I've just expected it to be. Where? There's the cows for milk. I'll tell you what, it better be a nice ice cream. It's be worth it. I don't think they do dog ice cream. You'll just have to wait there for us. Yeah. 
Alright. Hold on a minute. What? I thought you said ice cream. That's later. Oh. Coffee as well? Yeah. We're not on holiday, you know. We are. We're away from home. Must be a holiday. Well, it might be up a track and a half, but it's a nice little it's find. A lovely little find. <laughs> little kiosk. They sell milk. Ice cream, which we're gonna have in a bit, and cakes. So there's the cows being milked. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a robotic milking. So they uh, milk him. They look at searching for the teats by the look of it. And so. A robotic uh, milking, so it's got two of the teats wired up. There's the other one coming in. Don't know if you see it, but there's a little laser. And the arm just finds the teat. That's two, three. Wow. And all the time, she's having something to eat. all four seats hooked up and the milking machine begins. cream trailer getting ready getting stocked up for going out somewhere it's something like this I learnt to drive on, on the farm on down in Shropshire Hand throttle and a brake, that's all you need. A tractor and a Land Rover is what I, I learnt in on. Is it time to go and choose an ice cream? I think it might be. Oh, now. Too much choice. Well, I've got my ice cream. So. And I've got mine. But you don't know what yours is. I can't pronounce it. It's Dutler Loch or something, isn't it? 
it's something French, but it's very nice. It's caramelish. Very nice. What have you got? Lemon curd. Cheers. Cheers what? I'm contaminated now. <laughs> Ooh, that's a big stretch. And here, there were some calves when we came up. Let's have a look. It's like they're out at the moment. Oh, that's some. <laughs> but tonight's meal is just to chuck together. Some boiled potatoes are frying up with some leftover ham, some mushrooms, grate some cheese, and whipping some eggs together. Bit of an omelette. A lot of an omelette. Put them in the yeah. Ready? Yeah. Boom. Looking that way now. Just for the tip, so. I think so, don't you? I think that'll do. All oh, is ready to eat. Good decisions. Brown, ketchup, or sweet chili Thai style. What are you having? Tomato. What are you? I think I might have a bit of sweet chili. Sure. Mm -hmm. I'm not really hungry after that ice cream. Mm -hmm. That'll do us. Well, it's a wet morning out here, so Keith said, I tell you what, I'm going to treat you to breakfast to end the weekend. We've already got two pint mugs of tea. Well, you did say. I did. I'll take you two. That's a breakfast. That is. Oh, that's a cup of tea. That's a pint of tea. <laughs> well, that no, didn't take long to finish. Do you feel better after that? I do. <laughs> that's it. It's not a nice day, is it? No, another weekend over. Breakfast were nicer. It was. I'm sure we can find a coffee before we go home. You reckon? Aye. What you? That would be rude not to, wouldn't it? <laughs> well, that's it. So thank you, as always, for watching. And we'll see you on the next video. In drier weather, hopefully. Hopefully. Not too long before we go away for a week. Bye. See ya. Almost like having wolves at the door. Oops. That fell then.